Mixing Lovecraftian mythos with other genres might look good on paper, and with an extended edition, developer Stormling Studios want to rewrite the game's history and also its ending. Will it be good and how is it to play on the Nintendo Switch? Stay tuned to find out! Welcome to the Citadel City Providence, a lovely place to stay if you like to stay safe from the harsh outside conditions, and since it all takes place in a distant future, there is no need to pack up your survival kit just yet. You get to fill in the shoes of notorious hacker Johnny Menominic, sorry, Randolph Carter, and try to survive in this cyberpunk world as the truth he stumbles upon threatens to make Randolph lose his sanity. So you do the hacking, not the dolphin. Pretty straightforward and no fuss, so let's continue our review. Transient is an adventure game that wants you to have an open mind and a big love for HP Lovecraft, especially if you like his work in Beyond the Walls of Sleep. If not, some parts of this game might confuse you a lot. This is not my first game where developers have chosen to mix two worlds together, an easier to digest world and a world that draws heavy inspiration from the Lovecraftian mythos. And whenever they do, there is always a pretty big shift between the two different worlds in how much you can feel immersed. Transient starts you off right into a dialogue between two different characters as a way to give you some sort of background before you are hurled into the more dreamlike world filled with reference to Lovecraft. And it's also here you notice a slight problem with the narrow kind of interaction point you have when you are playing on a console. You have to look directly at an object to get a hint that you can actually interact with it. And it might feel minor if you play with mouse and keyboard, but with the control hitting that object can sometimes be more of a challenge and cause you to miss some important points of interest. Searching bodies can be a tedious thing when you have to go up and down like that to find something without clues on where to look. You will notice it more when you are solving puzzles, so let's dive into those now. The puzzles in Transient vary in terms of what is expected of you and what clues you will get beforehand. The snake puzzle gives you no indication, so trial and error will eventually lead you to the path of clearing it. Here it would be easier to move around between snakes with up and down, instead of getting the huge arrow and trying to get that into the right place. The scarab puzzle has no arrows to navigate between sections, so here it feels easier to play on a controller. The puzzles are on a K difficulty and should not hinder you for too long if you are focused but are lacking some feedback to let you know your current progress. The scanning skill you have are designed to help you find points of interest, but most of the time it's best used to know where you're supposed to move since it's sometimes hard to know where to go next. The storytelling really shines when it comes to the notes you find all over the world where you can read a more coherent story and other bits of an interesting information. I have always wondered what would happen if you found a copy of the Necronomicon and I guess I can now say I know. Transcend is ambitious with also having hacking mini games you can solve and even if they are pretty easy to solve they still allow you to hack a little bit like in the game Midnight Protocol. Transient Extended Edition offers you some dramatic and futuristic sounds that come and go to highlight certain moments in the game. I find the hacking minigame music most exciting and feel it fits the current mood. The voice acting is unbalanced where some parts are really well matched and other conversations become a bit overloaded and stiff in the way the voices are presented. My answer is the same now as it always has been. Face your reality, Carter. Here you remain. I have seen the dramatic difference between the PC version and the Switch version, so when it comes to graphics I have to say the Switch version comes out pretty blank and lacking colors and highlight. There is also some visual challenges when it comes to things like the fuse box. The levers appear to be in a down state and no matter how hard you try to push it up it won't work. Well, that is simply because you need to pull down. This little thing had me confused for a very long time. I can still see the designer's ambitions and strength when it comes to creating cyberpunk worlds, and just like the creators of The Shore, it's always a challenge to create the Lovecraftian world in the same level of quality as the primary world. Transient Extended Edition comes in at 19.99 US dollar over at the Nintendo store and for that you will get over 4 hours of gameplay, and with a price like that I was hoping this Extended Edition would be more adapted for the consoles. Since I have played Conarium, a previous title from the same developer, I had high hopes for this game. But where Conarium was clear in its message and delivery, Transient becomes a bit blurred in storytelling and the overall experience when playing it on the Nintendo Switch. I have no doubt that Stormling Studios will continue to release interesting titles and I hope the next one set them 
back on the right track again. This game is already out on PC and now has arrived on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation and Xbox. Transient Extended Edition is an ambitious game that wants to mix incredible words and showcase the developer's passion for both genres. And where the PC version might cover up some things with its vibrant graphic, the Switch lacks that ability and it all becomes a soup of good and bad experience. The mini games and homage to other game titles are the strongest selling point of the game. You know what? Let's not end this journey here. You have seen the game. Uh, I have a fantastic game here that I think that you should check out. I'm Danny Friendly in the game Viking, and I always say stay safe and stay awesome.